You got a phone? Picture. Video. Victoria, hey, it's Gary Vee. I'm giving a speech to 2,000 people. Listen to me. I'm here with your uh, fiance. Fiance, right? Yeah. Fiance. Pretty good looking dude. Um, anyway, just keep listening. I promise you. It's not because I want you to listen to me. It's because what I'm talking about is universal. People long before me were talking about it too. Life is very basic. The second you stop hearing that, both positive and negative, is the second your life gets happier. And the fact that you're starting to get happier means the world to me. And I hope this video is something you play over and over anytime your old friend or some random person on the internet makes you feel bad. You send them this video. Hey person, fuck you. You got your perspective. I just wanna be happy, don't you wanna be happy? In 2009, when I started making business content, more than half of the comments that I got were for me not to talk about business because I should, because I should only stick to wine because that's what I know. Whoa. You know, that is probably, you know, I just said it for the first time this clear. I see D-Rock in the background making notes. That, I might not have something better to say right now than that. That more than half the people that commented on my content in 2009 made snarky comments that I should stay in my lane, that I'm just the wine guy, mm-hmm. and, uh, and I think that would be very good for advice for a lot of people, because I know for fact, because I get so many DMs, the amount of people who no longer want to be posting what they're posting on Instagram, but because they were funny and a comedian, but now they're a serious business person. They used to be a model, but now they want to talk about their vegan food business. They used to be a business, serious businessman, but now they want to be a comedian. There's a lot of people, but they're scared because the first time they post something else, especially people that are attractive. I feel a lot of empathy towards people who are attractive. They, they, their self-worth and their likes come from being attractive. Then they try to make one post about something else and it doesn't get as many likes and they feel insecure. And they'd rather get likes than be happy, which is crazy. So my biggest advice, number one is self-awareness. Number two, make. Make. Mm-hmm. Everyone's thinking, they're working towards it, they're looking for their videographer, all these bullshit excuses to not make. People come up with a hundred excuses. They're insecure, they're scared, they deep down don't think they can achieve what they're saying they're gonna achieve, and so they're not making. And number three is patience. Yeah. I cannot understand how people think that in a week, or in a month, or even in a year, they're gonna be so famous and so rich and so it's, it's, it's uh, delusional and so patience. So uh, my question is, uh, which is the most ordinary thing in your life that brings you uh, <laughs> more joy and you can bring from there like extraordinary energy? This is a very funny question. I don't know how much garage sailing there's done in Brazil, but do you know what a garage? Okay, right? s- do you know when you go to somebody's yard? Uh-huh. And, yes. And just sell stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is by <laughs> far the most ordinary thing that brings me the most joy. Uh. I think it's the thrill of the hunt. You know, uh-huh. you pull up and you don't know what's going to be there. It, it's about knowledge. There's things that I know are worth money on eBay that other people don't. <laughs> And sometimes, I remember this one, a couple months ago, we went to a German's house. He had a huge collection of 2,000 Olympic pins. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41 pins on the first thing. He wanted a dollar a piece. I paid 20 for the whole thing. And boom, and boom. Okay, oh, that's, that's nice. It was very cool. We bought it for like $40 and it was worth $2,000. Oh, and, okay. and the high, Mm-hmm. And it just, it's a very simple thing. Go, go wake up at six o'clock in the morning and go garage sale. But I think it speaks to who I am, which is I love business. Mm-hmm. I love the thrill of the hunt. I love the process. I, I like that stuff. So that would be it. Video for the Brazilian audience. Awesome. In the stories. So to any kind yep. of call to I action you have to, to the Brazilian audience, we just published a video for you. Uh, is, this, is this the Brazil page? Yes, yeah, Brazil exactly. page. Portuguese page, actually. Portuguese page, yeah. that's right.
What's up everybody, it's Gary Vee. I'm so fired up to be in Brazil, about to take the stage. I've made a huge commitment, a huge idea right now. I am gonna learn how to speak Portuguese. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I have no ability to do that. Thank you, Gene. <laughs> Yes, sir. I have a uh, voiceover in Brazil, I have a general motivation. Yes. Okay, uh, I very appreciate staying here with you. Thank okay. you so much. Gary, What's up, everyone? Gary V. I am a motivation voice. Jesus. This is the man. This is the best voice I ever fucking heard. It's amazing. <laughs> what up, guys? Uh, sitting backstage here in Brazil, about to give a keynote. And uh, posted on Facebook, and on Twitter for that matter, the worst complaints you've heard. Uh, put out some content about complaining, which I think is a really vulnerable state. Uh, and then ask people to leave comments with the worst complaints they've heard. Here are some of the ones that the team thought were funny. So I'm gonna read them. This is the first time I'm reading them. Here we go. Number one, my mom didn't wake me up for work. This is a 24 year old. <laughs> this is gonna be a funny video. Like just a thought. First of all, my mom didn't wake me up for work was a terrible excuse in 1984 because you know relying on your mom to be at work is ludicrous. In 2019, it's fucking absurd. You have alarms on phones. Like, <laughs> like, excuse. Next, a few weeks ago my coworker complained that there was too much bacon in his breakfast burrito. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not sure this was a heavy, comp- I wanna know the tone. I can't imagine somebody getting super angry. That being said, one of the things I've been telling my team about is one of the reasons I'm empathetic to my trolls, to those heavy negativity is if you're that sad that you're putting out venom against another human being, you're probably hurting inside. And so if this person was actually complaining about too much bacon in their burrito, what I'm really thinking about is what's actually going in their lives that that could trigger you. Too much bacon in a burrito triggering means a lot of sadness deep down inside. Number three, I heard someone complain on a cruise that their cookie was too soft. I mean, that's just the same answer as number three. I don't have anything else to say. Number four, I can't catch a break. That's an interesting one. After telling me they are almost all caught up on all their Netflix shows. That's a really good one, Brian. I, I, I think, you know, nobody's giving me a job. All my bosses suck. I can't catch a break. The system is rigged. All loser talk for people that tend to not want to do action. Non-motivated because they haven't found their passion or they haven't found a happiness zone or they grew up in entitled environments where everything was paid for so they don't even know how to go and get it. I will always, always repeat this. When you're overfed, it's hard to be hungry. And so let's make sure we balance it. Either you're insecure or you're entitled and both are dangerous. Complaining is the tell to unhappiness. Stop fucking complaining and start creating solutions. Hey guys, so DRock's innovating, which I appreciate DRock, good idea. Posted this 21 minutes ago, 50,000 views, really solid, good start. Uh, more importantly, you probably see this is probably now the third, one, two, three, four, third video that we've put out that, fourth, that is incorporating a meme video that's doing well on Instagram and then layering our two cents on it. You know, instead of just posting the video, we put our own kind of take on it and then I put something at the top. This one's love to learn adversity instead of fearing it. What's really interesting about this post is quite long copy. You know, because it was, you know, a video where I'm not speaking or it's not me, context, DJing really matters. And the way I can DJ, add my two cents to this, like any great EDJ in EDM, in Deep House, in anything of that nature, they're adding their element so that you don't feel like it's just a Rihanna song, right? And so what, what you can do on social networks is add a lot of copy. And this is where people who are great at words that might not be as great at videos have a way to shine. You might actually be a better DJ than a songwriter. Original content is like songwriting, but adding a lot of sentences to take your observation or how you see something that's already in the zeitgeist is a great form of DJing. A lot of people razz on DJs for taking hits and just adding to it, 
but I think we all figured out over the last 20 years, that was a skill set and an art that we ended up enjoying. And so for me, that's the insight on this post and I hope that brings you value. Yeah. Awesome. That's a wrap. Nice to meet you. Real pleasure, bro. I don't know. What's the deal with this? It's my favorite number. Okay. Why? I was taking so. That happened when I was five itself. Like, five. Yeah. yeah at five, That's I decided funny. my favorite number was going to be five. Um, and it stuck. And it fucking stuck. Imagine if you switched every year. That'd be confusing. I know. I'd be like, 43 motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> it, and it stuck. And then, like, five, yeah, three I years ago, I was just taking so many selfies and I was like, man, I'm just going to. Fucking do that. I just, just did it once and, and I did stuck. it twice and just stuck. And now there's like, it's really funny. Like, now once in a while I see people do it in the wild. <laughs> like, just without well, anything to do with me. Yeah. <laughs> I can blame myself if I do that. You do it. I saw you. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's so flattering. It's so cool. It's so cool. I thought it was like Jets or Lander or some shit. It, you know what's funny? It weirdly is a little bit. So, I, like my Jets. mom, Pat Leahy, when I was a kid. Oh, back in the day. But my mom decided to knit me a sweater because we couldn't afford a jet, a jersey. This is like the, you know, my most prized possession. I talk about it a lot. Like when I buy them, I want to put it in the entrance of the stage. Like it's my thing, right? Because we couldn't afford a fucking shirt. Yeah. So my mom made me one and she asked me what number and I said five. And so That's cool, it does have a little of that. It is cool. It's like, you know, when something actually means something yeah, to you yeah, yeah. instead of like, not actually me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm fine. I'm going to be your voice. Thank you. In Portuguese. Do you know how to say fuck? <laughs> then we're. Then this is all set. <laughs> well, it depends on the context. Fair enough. I've been watching a lot of your videos. Thank you. Thank you. Anything I can answer for you? Anything. You, what? What is the? I don't. I don't know. You have no idea. You not. Just, and it's gonna be, if you've been watching, it's gonna be in that range. All right, how about uh, speed? How fast do you normally speak? On the fast you side. As fuck, right? you, you saw, you've seen the videos, like that. You, you want me to try to slow it down a hair? If you can. I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna truly try. I don't know if I can, but I will really try. Getting prepped Brazil, first time in the country, which I'm really excited about. Let me give this whole speech in Portuguese. Which is unprecedented, Iraq. I'm more worried about Iraq making his flight than. I'm not flying down here to tell you a get quick rich move. There is no hack, there's no fucking shortcut. It doesn't exist. When it does, it lasts for 11 months and then it's over. The only thing you need to chase is figure out what the fuck you want to sell that you believe in, that you believe in. And the second you understand that, you got to figure out how you're going to tell the world about the product you believe in, words, videos, audio, and then you need to start making and getting very patient. Slow, slow, slow. The number one thing I like is slow. The number one thing that most people hate is slow. That's the fucking game. Thank you, Brazil. You're going? You're out of here? I love you. D-Rock's gonna miss his flight. It was a good talk. Thank you, Gary. Hi. Stand up. What's that? Uh, speaking, speaking Portuguese. Aha, fuck. Got it.